Project 1065, Chapter 39, The Nazis' Second Favorite Sport. Fritz and I watched as two boys punched and jabbed at each other in a little makeshift boxing ring. When kids weren't performing their physical tests or cheering for their friends, this is what they all came to watch. Boxing was the one thing where you could demonstrate the glorious spirit of aggression and overcome your fear of pain all at once. After invading defenseless countries, it was the Nazis' second favorite sport. It all comes down to who they picked to fight you, I told Fritz. One of the two boys in the ring was bigger than the other and was giving the opponent, his opponent a right beatdown. The boy in charge of the pairings and evaluations was our old friend Horst, the sadistic boy who'd been the leader of our jungle group. He smiled like a donkey that, as the big kid knocked the little kid to the ground and kept beating him while he was down. Horst hated Fritz for his weakness and was sure to give him the biggest and meanest opponent he could. Something in the boy on the ground went crunch from a blow from the bigger boy, and the color drained from Fritz's face. Just remember what I taught you, I told him. Keep your legs apart so you don't get knocked down as easy. When you fall down, it's over. Keep your weight in your back foot. Turn sideways so there's less of you to hit. Tuck your chin. Keep your elbows in and your hands up. No hooks, no uppercuts. They take too long. Short, straight jabs. Three days wasn't enough time to teach someone how to really fight but I hoped it was enough for Fritz to at least survive. That's all he was hoping for, too. He took up the stance I taught him and practiced a few jabs while the previous loser was carried out of the ring. All right, let's see who's next, Horst said, consulting his clipboard. Ah, uh, Fritz Brendler. His eyes lit up with anticipation of violence. And who will we choose to fight you? His hungry eyes swept the crowd, stopping on the biggest and toughest-looking boy of them all. He was a head and a half taller than Fritz, with arms thicker than Fritz's neck and a crooked nose that said he'd been in more of his fair than his fair share of fights. I thought I heard a squeak come out of Fritz. Fritz Brendler, your opponent is, Horst announced, drawing it out, Michael O'Shaughnessy.